YouTube, how are you now? So, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Season 4 introduced a new feature where your kill streaks now count towards new kill streaks. So, any kills you get with kill streaks count towards your next kill streak. So, it's pretty crazy. Led to some pretty high kill games. Uh, these two games, I went 111 and 3 in this first game and then 109 and 4 in the second game. And they weren't even perfect games. Like, I didn't get the kill streaks on my first life. So, if you can actually get your kill streaks on your first life early on in the game and just keep them looping, you can get some pretty, pretty massive, massive high kill games. So, uh, my high skill games so far have been on, on this map. So, the other maps, Usually when I get the kill streaks, it puts them in the worst possible place, so I can't actually reach the enemies with the kill streaks, especially the uh, uh, the gunship and the whatever that middle missile missile streak is. It always puts it in the worst possible place where I can't reach any of the enemies. So a lot of times I don't get very many kills, or I don't get any kills at all with those with those streaks because it puts it in the worst place possible and can't reach any of the enemies. But if everything went in your favor, you could actually get some really, really high kill games. But so I think this game I got the gunship like three or four times, the next game I got like four or five times, so... <laughs> pretty, pretty nuts. Yeah, I don't know if the devs didn't test the kill streaks in Invasion or they did that on purpose so that kill streaks aren't super overpowered because uh, there are 20 enemy players versus like 6 to 10 in regular multiplayer so maybe they did that on purpose or maybe they didn't test it I don't know but it's really frustrating when you get those high-end streaks and you can't kill any enemies with it because you can't reach them <laughs> they're literally out of bounds of your of your reach with your kill streaks so. but yeah some super high kill games um, like I said 111 this one 109 the next one I've gotten 91, I've gotten quite a few 80s, high 70s, a lot of them 60 plus. So, basically just turned into Kill Street Warfare. But definitely helps, helps your KD <laughs> if you're going for kill records. Now would be the time to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm running the carbon bomb, the missile drone, and then the gunship. I've tried the uh, the the drone streak, the highest end drone streak, but that usually doesn't get very many kills. The highest I've gotten with it was five kills. A lot of times it gets like two, sometimes none at all. So, not a fan of the the streaks that you can't control. Uh, AI controlled streaks don't seem to do very well, at least not when I'm using them. So prefer the streaks that I control. I feel like I can get way more kills with those. They are higher end streaks, so you have to get the first streaks going at least. But once you can get get those first streaks going, just compound compounding effect. But yeah. It's definitely led to a lot of a lot of camping. In invasion, especially a lot of sniping. You see a lot of players just hanging in the back, sniping. A lot of times, their whole team is just sniping every <laughs> every angle. Like you try to run across the middle of the map, especially in the bigger open maps. And all you see is scope glints in, in every direction. So, can be frustrating to play against, but at the same time, if you can get past that, you just gotta just gotta expect it. So, gotta play. Expecting that, and then just try try to get as many kills as you can, so you can get those streaks going. Yeah, I see a lot of a lot of sniping, a lot of players going like zero KD, 0.1 KD, that kind of stuff, with like 20 deaths, 19 deaths, 18 deaths, a lot of them lately. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Either they're AFK or just really bad or they're reverse boosting or they're boosting players on the other team trying to get them kill streaks. 
I don't know what's going on, but I see it quite often, so. I mean, it doesn't help when I get all these kill streaks going. I'm just going to keep dying constantly. <laughs> but even when I don't get all the kill streaks going, I still see that quite often. So. I don't know what's going on, but definitely doesn't feel like skill based matchmaking is uh -huh. in play anymore, at least not in invasion. I've always preferred invasion because the skill matching wasn't as strict. Wow. But especially now. Yeah, 37 KD times 3, 111 and 3. Oh. And then this game, 109 and 4. So yeah, apparently uh, the kill streak looping is on purpose. I thought it was like accidentally put in the game because they were planning on putting like a limited time mode with that type of mechanic. But the last patch notes said that was on purpose for season four. So it is quite interesting. Definitely lets you get a lot of kills, really high KD. But I don't know if everybody's going to be a fan of that. It'll suck to join in progress on a game where just streaks keep looping over and over and over again because in the beginning of the season I was joining in progress constantly and then getting kicked from games constantly too so recently I haven't been joining in progress or getting kicked uh, except one time I got kicked but, but they still seem to be having server issues too like some of the some of the games have consistent packet loss like at 10 plus percent 10 to 20 percent packet loss the whole game latency variations packet loss variations, that kind of stuff, even though my connection's fine, so it's throughout the whole game. And then, usually in the beginning of every game, it goes into red packet loss for at least a couple seconds, so I just have to sit somewhere and wait for it to go away. There's definitely something wrong with their servers. I don't know if that's in regular multiplayer as well, or just invasion, but it's consistently every single game, it starts that way with that red packet loss in the first couple minutes. And it lasts for a few seconds, and then then it goes away, so. Those games aren't so bad, but the games that are consistent, packet loss 10 to 20% the whole game. <laughs> guys raging over there, but. The consistent 10 to 20% packet loss games are, are pretty much unplayable, so. Oh, I got Mosquito. Might as well just back out of those games. But those don't happen too often, but when they do, it's quite frustrating, so. Definitely got to work on their servers for sure. The netcode's been a little spotty too, recently. Getting shot pretty far around corners, dying around corners like that first game. I was far, far, far around that corner that first death. And then the game glitched out right here too, like... Killstreak glitched out, so I'm like... Not even knowing which... It's not even firing, so... <laughs> it didn't even fire that, the big one. Definitely a little wonky, and now it's on the big one, but it's shooting the little bullets and not hitting anybody, so... Very strange, so... Uh, I got hit. Unfortunately, when the game doesn't work, when you get high streaks, or it intentionally puts it in the worst possible place where you can't get any kills with it. <laughs> uh, I have to see how... where that guy landed up on the, on the leaderboard. <laughs> he must have died quite a bit. Not too happy. So yeah, being on the receiving end of non-stop kill streaks can be pretty annoying. So we'll see if if the devs keep it in or not. But it's been more enjoyable for me to play. I like trying to go for those high high kill games. See what records I can get. 200 plus games so far. We'll see if I can get any more kills than that. If I can get a perfect game going where on my first life I get all the streaks and then I can actually reach the enemies with my streaks to get a bunch of kills. Potential is definitely there. For sure. Love dying to hostile soldiers too. <laughs> the hostile soldiers definitely gotten better. For sure they be knowing exactly where I am and instantly shooting at me. Don't miss, kill me pretty fast too. I can't even react when they start shooting at you. And if there's enough of them, you just get insta dead, so. But they also know exactly where I am. Like when I'm in my kill streaks hidden away somewhere, they'll just walk right up to me and start shooting me. 
cheating AI, man. I tell you what. Yeah, we'll see if the devs keep it in the game or not, or if people complain too much and they remove it. Cause the older Call of Duties used to be that way, where kill streaks counted towards kill streaks. I didn't even get any DM DNA bombs in this these two games either. So if I could have got DNA bombs, it could have been even more. Some of the other games I've gotten DNA bombs in, but they weren't 100 plus kill games. If you get the whole thing going, plus DNA bomb, would be pretty high kills. It's one of the games I was playing, and the enemy, one of the enemies got DNA bomb twice. So usually it's like nine kills each, so 18 kills instantly. Could add up. Quite a lot of kills, you know. Lucky that tank didn't see me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got this massive seven. Seven kill streak right here. What is that, like four? Four gunships already? <laughs> And then if your teammates aren't getting very many kills either, I mean, if the game actually stretched out a long, long time, you could probably get a ton of kills, but usually my teammates are getting some kills, so. Oh, I'm 89, holy shit. 604, actually. No, not 604. What the fuck? That's like a, that was the second fucking gunship. A third gunship. Shit. <laughs> so yeah, over 5 KD now with all these 19 KD for the last 10 games and just getting high kill games. And this one of those games was actually a game where I got kicked. Uh, that game that I didn't click on, it was a 3 and one game I got kicked early in the game. So yeah, this is the most recent 5.3 KD. 17 KD there. So we'll see. 68 kills per game, and that's with that three, where I got kicked out of the game after three kills. So, 109 and four, 79 and four, 79 and four, 111 and three, 60 and eight, 79 and four, and yeah, the three and one I got kicked. So if that wasn't in there, it'd be a lot of a lot of kills per game, you know. 46 and five, 64 and four, 52 and three. So it's been pretty crazy for sure. This lifetime. Current season, season four. So yeah, in the beginning it was it was kind of rough, but now it's picking up quite a bit. So yeah, over eight KD. <laughs> Would be even higher than that if it weren't for all the getting kicked in the early games and the bad servers with lag. Packet loss and latency variations and all that stuff, but been pretty crazy though. So definitely get in there and get your kill streaks going because you can get some crazy high kill games. Especially if the devs decide to take that out in the future if people complain enough about it. But we'll see. So far it's been fun though. Keeps me playing. I enjoy it. But we'll see what they do in the long run. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.